Yeah, so it's this whole thing where you get charged premiums if you're under the playing field of, you know, like an organization, a hospital. A hospital being ran as one is private. But then the first thing you see, you walk in a podium that says public safety. And this is where they're not there, but they're the first person I see. So I always talk to them when I first enter an ER. If you go into an ER, here's like a hack. You can might get some imagery, uh, nothing like electronic microscope, because then you could polarize to a T the outcomes of what's actually going wrong. As opposed to uh, CAT scans, a sloppy copy, you want an MRI because that deals with muscles and tendons are hard muscles, or you can get a CAT scan. So it's like this guy is saying, I can put fire to the feet of some people. If you're waiting to wait around, you might get an MRI. And this is opposed to traveling, I don't know, like a little under a hundred miles, let's say 50 and a week out to get an MRI. This is all just a flip of a button and you have to wait to do this. They can't like get you in and out in 30 minutes. No, it's this three hour wait game where people come in after you, even though you've been there and they get looked at first. Uh, and so it's, you know, you're counting people in them. I hate keeping tally marks, but it's literally uh, their customer service representative coming out and saying that like, uh, he doesn't pick like special people uh, priority. Let's be um, let's be legitimate with what we're explaining. Um, he says I don't have any say in picking priority, uh, and our rooms are short because everyone came all at once. And so this guy runs back. I'm like waiting just to have a doctor, you know, push my hand up against theirs and say. I think that your tendons aligned right, even though it was separated earlier. Um, you know, that I would have paid $30 for him to do that just for like the gratification of a professional saying that you're halfway decent, you know, but no, it wasn't worth my injury. Uh, I thought I was good enough to not have that occur. Uh, so after getting my vitals, they call it a triage, it's $300. Everyone says, like, in, while we're waiting, oh, I got my triage. Like, this guy came back and did it twice to me. He says this is just to get the ball rolling so it's better flow. I mean, four policemen came in. They need backup. Now we got eight policemen in the back hours. We got this intercom going off saying people have a stroke. We have a code. And they have three different codes over the duration of three hours for strokes. And so... You know, I don't, they've got names for all these things. When you go into a hospital, like, do you, did you get a ride here? This is stuff a cop asks you. And if you're not being investigated, you don't have to say anything to them and they can't detain you. But if there's suspicion, like they can apply pressure, but this organization, they apply pressure with all these questions. Like, how'd you get here? Who's driving you home? And then do you, once you're in there in the triage, it's a whole litany of questions like, do you plan on hurting anyone? Have you live with someone that you're not liking? You know, stuff like this where it's totally invasive, but you think that you're getting through, so you're answering them. No, I just left. I couldn't take it anymore. And so I called back to cancel, uh, see if I was being charged the amount because I didn't like their service. And sure enough, they're like, we can't tell you anything that a doctor would have charged to see you if you saw one. I thought I didn't see a doctor. I shouldn't get charged. But this whole triage is $300 as a baseline. And on top of like seeing doctors, um, I was trying to get a scalability of what a doctor would do, like cut stitches out from your arm. How much would that cost? If a doctor wanted to put you in imagery, how much does that cost? If a doctor just looked at you quote unquote, how much does that cost? And they weren't willing to give any range in skills because I'm acting like the ball is in my playing field. But when 
it is a, it's just basically a bag you know the strings deteriorated from the top swivels cut out all my bags there so much pressure is applied they just split out the seams on the side uh you know that's gonna find a nice crease in the middle so i just call it shambles because they use a nomenclature that puts them over they're saying like their hacks are not the hacks excuse my french the hucks are people who answer the phone and so that's what i learned last time i was there this time it's a triage is taking your vitals and i don't know what the deal is but it's so like um quaint with their linguistics that i think that it's not worth my injury